Hi and welcome to this video about endothermic and exothermic reactions. Now all reactions either take in heat and give out heat but rather than using those very simple terms take in and give out we've got some quite complicated words here endothermic and exothermic. Now endothermic reactions are ones that take in heat from the environment and exothermic reactions, exo, are the ones that give out heat. Now some people like to think of exo like exit and you go out of an exit so you're giving out heat and then the endo is the opposite to that. So if that helps if you remember exo like exit means giving out or going out. So exothermic reactions give out heat and endothermic ones take in heat. Now the majority of reactions are exothermic um, things like combustion and oxidation reactions and neutralization they're all exothermic reactions so combustion being an obvious one um, combustion reactions give out heat but so do oxidation reactions and also things like neutralization as well Um, so fewer reactions are endothermic where heat is taken in from the environment um, but things such as thermal decomposition when heat is needed to break down um, a, um, a compound that is an endothermic reaction so things like thermal decomposition like in the limestone cycle um, when the calcium carbonate is broken down by heat thermal decomposition reactions are endothermic they take in heat from their environment now these can have some really important uses in everyday life um, endothermic reactions are used in uh, sports injury packs so if you injure yourself um, if you injure your muscle for example you can have a sports injury pack So if you'd injured your arm, for example, you could then place a sports injury pack around where your injury is. And because it's an endothermic reaction in here, that will take in heat from your injury and help to cool it down and help to make it better and, and be in less pain. So an endothermic reaction in that sports injury pack will be taking in heat um, and therefore it will take in the heat from, from where your injury is and help to cool it down and help to uh, reduce the pain. For exothermic reactions, everyday uses um, include things like hand warmers. Um, you, you see those little packs where you have to click to start the reaction to happen and if you wanted to warm up your hand you would place your hand warmer in your hand click for the reaction to happen and an exothermic reaction would release heat energy into your hand to warm it up also um, self-heating coffee cups or just self-heating um, cans if you want to heat up food so self-heating cans for food or drink if you want your food to be warmed up there's often something in the bottom here that you need to click to start the exothermic reaction and then that will heat up all the food that is inside or all the coffee or whatever is inside your self-heating can. Another thing we need to know about endothermic and exothermic reactions is a link to reversible reactions and that's this statement here in reversible reactions if a reaction is endothermic in one direction it is exothermic in the other direction. So we've got this symbol here for reversible reactions and on this one you've got hydrated copper sulfate and in this direction the reaction is endothermic to make anhydrous copper sulfate and water. In the opposite direction it is exothermic. Okay so it's always opposite. It might in some reactions be exothermic this way and endothermic the other way um, but if it's 
endothermic in one direction, it is the opposite, it's exothermic in the other direction. And that would relate to the same amount of energy being taken in or released as well. So just to put a quick value in it, if 10,000 joules of energy was taken in in this direction, then when the reversible reaction happened, 10,000 joules of energy would be given out. So it's kind of that closed um, system in that respect. So that's all you need to know about endothermic and exothermic reactions. If you found that useful, um, please like the video and subscribe. See you in the next video.